Hello, beautiful people. I am, well, I just parked, actually. I'm here in Upper East Side. I am about to do um, a little thrifting today. It is Sunday, and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. Before I go thrift, though, I actually have to stop off at um, the Nordstrom local shop. If you're unfamiliar, Nordstrom's has this... Um, this, this local shop here, actually, I've seen one in Tribeca, that if you order things on um, on Nordstrom's website and don't want them delivered to the store, you can just have them delivered to the local. And I do that sometimes when one, it's actually, the shipping is actually quicker than sometimes you would get it at home. And two, if you live in a building that doesn't necessarily have a doorman, um, and they're trying to drop off packages. Sometimes it's hard. I don't live in a doorman building. Um, and, um, usually I have a, there's a store downstairs that takes my packages sometimes. Um, but to avoid all of that, I decided to just have it here. And I like, I like stopping here because across the street is one of my favorite thrift. I say thrift. Well, it actually is thrift because, um, even though it has higher end pieces in it, um, but it's also consign. They also have consignment. So um, I love going there. And that's Second Street. And Second Street has tons of locations. They actually are newer in the New York City um, thrifting secondhand scene. Um, but they are doing quite well. There's one here in Upper East Side, one in East Village, one in the Gre Greenwich Village, and there's probably other like five other ones. Um, they popped up all over the place. But I'm rambling. Let's go. <laughs> Is the store and honestly if I wanted to they could I could just call them and they would bring it out to me too um, but I'm going across the street so no point in doing that I got my little Nordstrom pickup which is actually just some vitamins in here from hum um, but we're going across the street now to street might stop and get some ice cream before or after. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, here we go. I mentioned they have tons of secondhand consigned pieces. This little Chanel is such a cutie and it's, it looks like it's in great condition. Sorry if it's loud, I am in a store. <laughs> contemporary brands if you look closely you might find some more luxury items oh, this is a fun little piece oh, it's a poncho oh, 16 bucks I see a label but not bad I have my eye out on for some Fall staples. This is looks in great condition. And that's your baker. It's not bad. Look, see? That's what I mentioned. Dope coat from Dolce and Gabbana. Four. $4.99. Really cool piece. And then you have a Riley. It's a really great place to find some furs, too. Obviously, we're in the Upper East Side where the girls have the furs. 
you know? This one obviously yeah. is a little wonky here, but if you took it to a furrier. Oh, this is a stand studio coat, like their famous teddy coat. In great condition. For that much? Sports mats. Fur coat. Is, I think it's faux, it's faux fur. Coat caught my eye. I'm gonna try this on. This is fabulous. But right after it is a Burberry trench. It's also pretty yummy. Look at that. And this looks like it's in great condition. I'm gonna find a price for you guys. Oh, here, look. For Burberry. Another Burberry trench for. This one I'm gonna try on. Like you just in the coat, which I'm loving. How dope. Ooh, I love it. It doesn't have a clasp here though. Like this is like the it's a little piece here. So it can't close, but super chic, definitely my style. Been looking for a long fur. S coat for a long time and with the lapel like this. Should I get it? Oh, here is a Burberry trench. Honestly, it's not giving much. I don't know, it's Burberry. As far as trenches goes. Let me belt it. Yeah. Just checking out the button down. Love a button down, clearly. But I'm actually looking for some like oversized ones that I can make into like dresses. So fun piece for someone. Looks very nice. Thank you. Yes, it's nice. I look pretty new too. You now checking out the men's section. You get a lot of oversized tops and t-shirts from here. Tons of jeans. The selection is super good here. If you are shopping for fall, this is like the perfect time. And honestly, it's really great to go to a secondhand store and experience, um, experiment with some of the trends. I've seen cargos here, I've seen tweed blazers, all of those pieces that are super fun for fall. Trying on some pieces. This is a men's comedy capsule. What? This blazer situation? Um, it's not giving what I thought it was gonna give. Okay, this is a Virginia Watanabe top. It's men's and look at what the back looks like. I kind of like this one actually. And tuck it in. A little more structured situation. Button like this top and leave the bottoms down. It's cute. This one. This much is it really worth it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, this is a Rick Owens full leather dress situation. I know it's a dress because the pockets here. It might be a long jacket too, but um, this is giving not made for a woman who has a big butt. Cool in theory, not on my body. Cute is this Jimmy Choo bag. Clutches are in for fall. Like it's in really good condition. How cute. I'm going to that. I'm going to this. It's not bad at all. Yes. This might be a moment. Nomad, actually, going to Buffalo Exchange. 
um, another one of my great favorite locations. The little exchange is a little different in that a lot of the things are like, they don't have as much as on us. Um, Second Street and um, there's a lot. <laughs> it's not as curated as I would say Second Street is. Um, but it's good to look through the racks. You can definitely find some gems. Again, great places to find like oversized button downs and pieces like that. So I'm going to scour some of the racks and show you some things that I find that are favorites. I look like these. In great condition, Air Force Ones. Right. This a beautiful leather jacket moment. This is a little designer, too extra small, but 80 bucks because this is genuine leather and the leather is butter soft. Oh my goodness, such a great piece, if only in my size. Lord knows I don't need another gosh darn green blazer. This one's from H&M, it's a double XL. I have one that is super similar to this, that's vintage, it's just a vintage men's one. Okay, I've been scouring through skirts and tops. Um, I have tons in my hand already. We stumbled upon this cute little tweed moment. And it, it so happens to be a Guy LaRouche skirt. How cute. Not sure if I'm in the collection, but super, super cute. It's too small for me though, it's a medium. Okay, I'm in the dressing room. I have quite a bit to try on, so let's get to it. My first up is this sheer top. It's a little tight in my arms. And I really don't like the color as much as I thought I would. It's completely sheer. I'm not feeling this one. I think I'm gonna thin this one up because it's already an absolutely no. Like the arms are a little too tight and they're also too short. <laughs> okay, this is the next two pieces, and I'm quite liking them. This uh, shirt is quite oversized, it's like two sizes more than me, but the arms fit. It's a weird, like, suede ish kind of material, so I'm like melting right now. Um, and the skirt, obviously, is like it's like a full leather skirt, it's not big in the waist, but as are those things that fit my butt and my thighs. But it's kind of cute. I feel like this could be a moment in the winter time. In the fall. Alright, these are in the, the maybe pile. <laughs> okay, cost. Skirt. These wide side pockets. Immediately, yes. It's a navy color. You can cut it out. Oh, there you go. Immediately, yes. It's very cute. And then the top is a brand new, actually. Um, God, it still has the tags on it, that's how I know. Kelly Klein top. I like top sizes to layer under my blazers. It's a little too oversized, though. Even if I would tuck it, I don't know why to wear the shirts out, and it's just a, it's too boxy and big. So, no to the top, but yes to the skirt. This skirt, because I really like the sheer bottom clearly too tight this is actually a medium it looked big on the hanger so i was like let me try this um but yeah i'm in this in search for a skirt with kind of a sheer moment like that at the bottom this is not it but yeah okay another on the fence moment this is like a wrap skirt with this cool pocket detail it has this weird closure situation and I don't know if I'm just not doing it right or what. It's like a knit material. Inside is cream, outside is like a brown. I don't know. Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, you know what I just thought of? I can move the button. So this button is here and move it here. Thank you. It's like unique, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, so I look in the tag, and this is actually wool. So 
so it's a little skirt. It's just weird how it's buttoned up. You see, even when it's off, it's like this. I don't know. I want to show you guys this blazer. Sorry, I'm showing you a black top. It can close. It's a little snug on the girls. But I kind of like it. It's, it has like a pinstripe. See that? You can kind of see. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty sharp. It would be so cute with like a white tee and some jeans. These kind of blazers are super in right now. Let me see the price. 18 bucks. Oh, look. It's Heritage. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one just because um, I am going to Maryland next week and I might be able to find a you know a vintage men's vest like this for cheaper the thing about the thing in New York is that the prices are so crazy honestly this is like retail if I went to Zara I could find a vest I mean for a couple bucks more than this but I digress all right the next piece it's a skirt which I am not entirely in love with it kind of accentuates the tummy here it's not really my style either. It's very schoolgirl. No. So I was checking out some of the bags and I found this little cutie. It's very structured and cute. The chain obviously on the end kind of cheapens it so I would never wear it like that. It would just be like a little top hot top handle um, without the twilly as well. Um, it's actually genuine leather, and it's only $23, so I'm gonna get this little hot red moment. I think it's cute. I think I would never get anything like this, but I just thought this was funny. A funny little bag for someone who is into animal motifed bags. I got something for everybody, I'm telling you. I was meant to go to another store. Um, Crossroads Trading, which is not, it's literally down the street from here. Um, but I'm tired. <laughs> I just stopped, popped into um, the grocery store to get something to eat. <laughs> and now I'm just like, I want to go home. So I'm going to try to do this another day and go to a few more stores so I can give you guys some options.